work three underscore zork three hey no mistakes do you know what a chocobo's favorite song is King on sunshine work just lit just by Pantera <laughs> You know what Chocobo's on TikTok's favorite dance is? I guess it's really more of a like Vine era thing, but. This is Chocobo's favorite dance. It's probably the better delivery. This is like all the stuff that we listen to for Quest for Glory. All right, we got our lantern. Now we go south. Turn on lamp. Chrome crashed. Um. Okay, so I was kind of interested in what the hell is the reason why, and I'm wondering if it's because of how many moves we've made. If we needed to go to visit the old man or the dead end, so northwest. So the first time we came to this room in our first save, this guy was there. That was fine. We talked to him a little bit and then we figured out what to do. The second time, after we had died and decided to restart. He was not there, but I'm starting to wonder if it's because I took too long to get there and maybe he got up and left or something. So, not Netscape. We got the bread. Was the chest? No, the chest was on the ledge. Okay. Give bread to man. Wake man. Give bread to man. All right. Now we have a secret door available to us, which is great. Thank man, even though he's gone. Don't know the word thank. Rude. Oops. Climb down rope. Get chest. We are not going to pass it up to the person who may or may not appear. Come on now. 38. What? Where? Where's our sailor? Hello? 48. wonder if that matters. I'm going to write that down. Ok, 
Okay, so then we get the vial from him. Although I might have just wasted, I definitely not only, damn it, not only did I waste a bunch of moves, wasted a bunch of lamp light, but that's okay. Yeah, yeah. So we had a really hard time killing ourselves, not actually ourselves, I mean, our Negapo. So maybe we should come back to this area later. Where, oh, whoops. Oh shit, how did I get on the cliff? Northeast, southeast, not southwest. setting. Zork is easy to find. It, it is a bit, a little bit easier to say. So we'll get the sword whenever we fight our nega self, but we're not going to do that right this moment. We're going to go... Hmm. What do we want to explore? We have the technology room, which is definitely something. The jewel room. I think we're going to go... Yeah, because, okay, that room had the wooden plank or something in the wall. And then the um, compass rose on the floor. There's also the red beam of light. And then while we were there was an earthquake, which I'm wondering what room we need to be in for that to happen. The deep, this, okay, damp passage. It always is blocked off to the north right now, right? Blocked by rubble, okay. There was another something that was blocked by rubble, I think. But I did not write it down, if so. so I'm not gonna worry too hard about the earthquake just yet. I'm also not going to push this button yet. So, so far the only thing we've been able to do with the mirror is break it. Uh, which is what reveals the wooden press panel. <laughs> Just in case it's an illusion, despite nothing indicating it is. Honestly, I don't know that we... I think we did, actually. That was so silly. Okay, um, look. Nothing special about the stone channel. I hope I'm imagining this right. I think that's another part of the challenge of these games is testing your ability to imagine what they're describing. I think I can, I think I'm thinking of the right thing, but it makes it hard to think about like all of the possible things you, you could or should do.
Do I have anything that I can actually break that mirror with? self dish Not. Here it feels fragile. So maybe we do need the sword to break the mirror with. Interesting. I feel like we've already crossed it, so whatever damage is done might have already been done. Even though it's only an inch or so above the floor, we could totally just step over it. I wonder if we need like another mirror in order to bounce that light off towards this mirror. That could be interesting. It's true. Hi Rex. Happy Wednesday. It is likely. We haven't yet though. Alright, I'm gonna write that down. remove this mirror? Yeah, not in this one, yeah. Nope. That's different. What snapped? stopped. Uh, part of the, uh, the mirror mounted on the panel which has been opened outward. Oh, we didn't have to break it. Uh. Oh dear. Okay. All right. So we opened the mirror without breaking it. That's good, I think. So now... We are inside the mirror. Uh, you are inside a rectangular box of wood whose structure is rather complicated. Four sides of the roof are filled in. Four sides and the roof are filled in and the floor is open. Great. As you face the side opposite the entrance, two short sides of carved and polished wood are to your left and right. The left panel is mahogany, the right pine. The wall you face is red on its left half. Oh god. Red on its left half and black on its right. On the entrance side, the wall is white opposite the red part of the wall it faces and yellow opposite the black section. The painted walls are at least I'm gonna need to write this down. The painted walls are at least twice the length of the unpainted ones. The ceiling is painted blue. In the floor is a stone channel about six inches wide and a foot deep. The channel is oriented in a north-south direction. In the exact center of the room, the channel widens into a circular depression, perhaps two feet wide. Incised in the stone around this area is a compass rose. 
Running from one short wall to the other at about waist height is a wooden bar carefully carved and drilled. This bar is pierced in two places. The first hole is in the center of the bar, and thus the center of the room. The second is at the left end of the room, as you face opposite the entrance. Through each hole runs a wooden pole. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. I think I'm understanding. I know, right? This was like the worst, best timing. The pole at the left end of the bar is short, extending about a foot above the bar and ends in a hand grip. But above the bar? The pole has been dropped into a hole carved in the stone floor. A long pole at the center of the bar extends from the ceiling. Nope, I thought I was picturing it right. Through the bar to the circular area and the stone channel. This bottom end of the pole has a T-bar a bit less than two feet long attached to it, and on the T-bar is carved an arrow. The arrow and T-bar are pointing west. <sighs> no, I'm gonna do a whole different piece of paper. <laughs> Oh, uh, damn, Zork. Oh, of course, my paper's to my left. I got both of my shots in my left arm, so I'm being lazy. Yeah. <laughs> so, that's happening. <laughs> okay, friends. Don't do it. I would negate it because we're already drawing it. I would veto it. Intense. Called relaxing fantasy. Relaxing about that. Here we go. Ah, a lot of solid colors. We do have colors. That'll be handy. All right, map cam, come on down. Lazy to reach much further than this. Okay, we gotta go back. We gotta, we gotta start it up. Look. Inside a rectangular box of wood whose structure is the size of the room filled in and get oh I feel like I'm being too quiet today. <laughs> Two short sides. Your left and right.
Back to okay, this side's white, and then this side is yellow. Painted walls are at least twice the length of the unpainted ones. Saying that in between those panels is unpainted. Probably. Healing is blue. <laughs> well, this is my beautiful drawing of the room. It's going really well. It's a rough draft. Okay, so that's the colors. Got it. Then the floor is a stone channel. This is a rectangular room, right? We're looking at it. There's a stone channel about six inches wide and a foot deep. It's oriented in a north-south direction. <sighs> in the exact center of the room, the channel widens into a circular depression. Running from one short wall to the other. Wait, 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 wait. That's your son. Oh. Oh, 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 I did this wrong. Or more like this. Ceiling is blue. This is north. I think. This is mahogany. This is pine. This is red. Black. These are much shorter. <laughs> All walls. Okay. So then this one's yellow. And this is white. Okay, I think I'm, I'm getting it a little bit. <laughs> Running from one short wall to the other at about. I should just. For some reason, these are tall walls. Whatever. It's like an unfolded box. Feeling is blue. Red. Black. Yellow, white,
I don't know if this channel is oriented. I don't know which way is north. I'm guessing if we came in from the south and we're looking from the entrance to this red wall and black wall, then that would make this north. So we have a channel that widens. Channel. Compass rose. North, south. This is pretty good so far. Maybe? Could be totally wrong. Channels oriented in north south direction. The exact center of the blah, blah, blah. running from one short wall to the other. Mahogany. Fine. Oh, I meant short, like short, not short, I think. But whatever. So this could be a little bit longer, but I'm not gonna get it perfect. What about waist height is a wooden bar, carefully carved and drilled. Yeah. <laughs> We got it though, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is the ceiling. But that's, you know, it's just, a, it's like a box that's unfolded. So then you have the bar that goes across. The first hole is in the center. The second is at the left of the room. As you face opposite the entrance. Hi, Manicate. Enjoy your lurk. Happy Wednesday. But I'm at the entrance, right? As you face the side opposite the entrance, I'm at the entrance. I'm looking... As I face opposite the entrance. Yes. Okay, so this is the same. Okay, the second is at the left end. Okay. So we have a bar that goes across like this. Hole here and a hole here. Okay. We're getting there. Running appears in two places. Through each hole runs a wooden pole. But I think it's my brain was thinking of it going horizontally, but I think they're running vertically. A long pole at the center of the bar extends from the ceiling through the bar to the circular area in the stone channel. So we have something going through from the ceiling to the floor through here. Okay, <laughs> this is the most effort. <laughs> okay, it'll be worth it, I think. Did I skip? The pull of the left end of the bar is short, extending about a foot above the bar and ends in a hand grip. So it's like a lever kind of thing. The pull has been dropped into a hole carved in the stone floor. It's got a little grippy. Okay. All right. Okay. Long pull at the center of the bar extends from the ceiling through the, uh, the bottom end of the... <laughs> the bottom end of the pole has a T-bar a bit less than two feet long attached to it, and on the T-bar is carved an arrow. A T-bar. Is that like a... Tire wrench? I'm just gonna look it up, if that's like a thing. I'm assuming it's just a bar shaped like a T. Also a wrestler. Uh, 
kind of thing that you do to lift weights. If anything, this is probably making it more complicated. <laughs> Just shaped like a T, yeah. Okay. All right, this is our room. I'm not gonna draw the arrow and... And the T-bar are pointing west. So like this? So wait, 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 did I already, dang it, did I mess up right in the end? This is my masterpiece. I think it's an okay representation. Let's find out. <laughs> the whole room is a red herring. I'd be so sad. Except in this case, upside down. But if it's pointing to the west, wouldn't it be like this? This being... I need a shorter pencil. You know what I'm saying. Uh, but, but there was a one. No, the T part of the T bar is at the bottom. What's the T part of the T bar? <laughs> is that the crossbar on the top or the body of the T? I did it like this. Because <laughs> it says it's pointing west cross part is at the bottom was it pointing wouldn't it be pointing east and west then at that point but there's an arrow specifically pointing west i think it's just the wording is confusing me yeah okay gotcha gotcha gotcha, gotcha. Ooh, got lightheaded for a second there that was fun Okay, all right, frame it, title it. This is where we are. Kind of. Oops, tilted. Okay, I'm ready to take on this room now. I was overwhelmed, but now I'm ready. <laughs> Grab. We're turning either the room. No, we didn't go down. We went across. Oh boy. This is gonna mess something up in my head. What does it call it? A handle? Hand grip. That's that's probably fine. Well, can I don't want to lower it. Raise pole? Short. Okay, so that would take it out of the hole, so now I should be able to move it, right? Turn bar. Wooden. There's an evidently enough friction to keep the pole from dropping back down. Oh, okay. So I don't, I'm not like holding on to it still. Okay. My pencil. Push bar. Turn. Can't turn the T-bar. Yep, 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 yep. Um, 
Is it touching the mahogany wall? Running from one short wall to the other at about waist height. Arrow in the T-bar pointing west. What? It's surely it's got to do this, right? Like crank, like we're cranking the whole room. Turn. Touch mahogany wall. Panel. Then the word word choices mess with me too. This panel makes sense, but I also I think at first I was thinking like like a panel that you can push for some reason, like it moves in my head. That means that it moves. <laughs> oh no, push red panel. Oh. Can. It's kind of like a Simon Says a Simon toy, but not the structure, meaning the middle part, I'm guessing. The arrow on the compass rose now indicates northwest, which makes sense because the red do red wall is northwest. I feel so smart for figuring this room kind of out so far. Okay. But what the fuck does that do? <laughs> Why do we want it in a different direction? What direction do we want it in? Can I leave? Inside a closed box. How do I get it north? Rotates counterclockwise. The arrow on the compass rose, wait a minute, now indicates west again. So it went one step clockwise. I think. <laughs> I think it went one step clockwise and then one step counterclockwise. I think. Okay, so push mahogany. The structure rocks back and forth slightly, but doesn't move. Push white panel. No, then that doesn't make sense. Counterclockwise. What if I, oops. Let me push it again. One step counterclockwise. That went southwest and now west. Push yellow panel clockwise back to southwest. I wonder why there are four options though. Can I push the ceiling? Uh, can I spell the word ceiling? That's how you spell it. Blue. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Push pine panel. Hundred and fifteen. Hundred and fifteen. It was a hundred and nine last time. We're at a hundred and fifteen. Earthquake. One oh nine, comma, one fifteen. Okay. That's fine. I think that's fine. Do I want this? And it started off west. Can I look at the floor? A 
Okay, so we're facing southwest now, or the, the arrow is. Push. Ugh, oh, white. Sorry, <laughs> my headphone was closer to the microphone than I thought. Okay. Yeah, good luck shoveling. I appreciate it. We'll get there. Enjoy your lurk. Where are you at, Anka? She's here, but she's just she's lurking also, I guess. probably got a shot yesterday too. Okay. T-bar, arrow, whatever about the T-bar. Arrow is pointing south. I don't think I can leave still. Where'd the mirror go? The mirror got closed behind us. And I'm assuming we were here. So if this is the entrance, possibly really would be more like this if we're sticking with my opening of the box. Uh, this is the entrance. Okay, then maybe we just need to go all the way around. Push white twice. Push white two times. Push white. There's got to be a reason why there's four options, though. Pushing the white panel doesn't seem to work, even though it just did. <laughs> did I break it? Floors open. Four sides and roof are filled in. That's a weird sentence also. Compass ro rose in the room before was also like this, I think. Pointing north. Oh man, I don't remember. Oh god. Turn off lamp? No. Okay, we don't need our lamp on in here. I need to start like marking which room doesn't need a lamp. But if I push red, we'll go back. We'll still. No, I want to go counterclockwise again. Still, I think. Now we're at northwest. Why did the white one break? Can I push the white one? One, two, three, four, five, six. 
Pushing the white panel has no effect. It tells me that after I pushed the white panel and it did something. And then I can still do it. Oh, wait, what if we point it north? Is it notably helpful? That's so weird. Once they get back to north, it gives me that weird, this doesn't work. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Uh, maybe it's because in order to get to north, we need to do it the right way. But I think I just got to north with all of the panels. Lower short pole? It was a pole, I think. Okay, so we can lower it back. Did that do anything? Where would we want to put it? Lift, short pull, push. Oh god, where are we? We're facing north. Black. Drop or lower. What did I do? Drop, short pull. Uh, lower, short pull. Now rest on the stone floor. So it seems like the only things that I can lower the short pull into are just the floor. The hole that it started in, or the channel, which runs from north to south. But once it's lowered, I can't rotate the room. Yes, I can, because it's on the floor, not in a hole or in a divot. But why? If I can't get it, I can keep it over here or I can keep it... I can't do much with it over here because I think there's a... I think there's a hole in the floor where it started? I don't really remember. So if I push black... Oh no, that's where we are right now. We're west. If I push it again, do we go towards southwest? Okay. Then if I push it again, we'll get stuck. I think. No. What? How are we turning it? The arrow on the compass rose? Is that different than the T-bar? Was it saying the T-bar before? North. What the hell? Arrow on the compass rose. It's always the arrow on the compass rose turning. Like the T-bar. Why were we able to move it? Lower short pole. Because we're northwest. Raise short pole. Push. Red. Lower short pull. Into the channel. Push red. Now I can't rotate it.
I don't know. What am I doing? Oh, overthinking, I, I think. Hey, okay, why did... Only the pine wall is open now. Okay. Pine wall closes. Structure sways steadily south and stops over another compass rose. another compass rose outside of the room? So I think pushing the mahogany wall moved our whole room that we're in, but only whenever the bar is facing south. So I can only, okay, so this moves us but this will open at least when it's north. Let's see if it'll do it when it's south. opens into the field of view of the guardians of Zork, represented by two identical stone statues carrying bludgeons. The guardians awake, and in perfect unison utterly destroy you with their stone bludgeons. Satisfied, they resume their posts. Maybe just north for the pine panel. Maybe north is the only safe opening. <laughs> Unless we just moved somewhere in space. Well, I'll come back. Okay, interesting. Interesting. Terrifying and interesting. 
Will that door still be there? Yes. Is the chest? No, the chest isn't. Oh, it is. The chest is still here. Corridor continues north and south. Okay, in this room. can't budget at least from here. What? I'm afraid to map this. I think I changed something messing with the mirror room. Okay, so this was another hallway. <laughs> Northeast, Northwest. Can I go north more? A wooden wall blocking your way. All right. Oh, oh my God, okay. Okay, uh, in a narrow room whose west wall is a large mirror. The opposite wall is solid rock. Somewhat to the north, identical stone statues face each other from pedestals on opposite sides of the corridor. The statues represent guardians of Zork, that's what killed us. A military order, they are portrayed as heavily armored warriors, standing at ease, hands clasped around formidable bludgeons. Okay, so this was the mirror possibly that means that okay I turned the room like three times and either we just ended up there or I moved I think I moved it also I thought I just moved it once south and then once north, but... Okay, alright. It's a, it's a wall vessel. Something. Ugh. 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 Okay, okay, okay. Okay, wrapping my head around it. Okay, let's go back. Um, north, west. Whose east wall is a large mirror. Okay.
Somewhat to the north, identical stone statue. That's the same. It's the same. Okay. Odd. Yeah, so if you try to pass through to the north with the guardians, at least, you die. Okay. Alright. Good to know. I think we're gonna take a break. This is a good place to take a break. Brain is melting. <laughs> um, all right, so get up and stretch and move around and get some water and get a snack and do whatever you gotta do. Hi, social. Happy Wednesday. We're about to take a little break from Zorkin. Uh, yeah. I feel like we just discovered a lot. But really just in like a few rooms. We'll be back in just a couple of minutes. like I'm being quiet but I guess I am. Hello. I almost said good morning. Good morning. We're back. Oh shh. Okay. We did some stuff. We're here. We're not here. But we have been here before, and we did stuff. Maybe that's how we get past the guardians. Good morning, happy Tuesday, happy, happy Tuesday. All right, so we're gonna zork it up a little bit more, and then switch over to the dagger of Amun Ra. I've almost hit my brain quota on puzzles. But not yet. So let's keep going. We're gonna restart though, because this is a, a bit of a, a pickle that we're in, and not a great, not a great spot. Uh, but it's something that we can potentially solve, which is nice. So we're gonna go do that. No. I don't know why I feel like it has to be an X. It can be any not real name. Uh, social, thank you so much for gifting a sub to our last brain cell. Last brain cell, I hope that you enjoy your couch and your emotes and you're doing a great job. You're pushing it. Keep up the good work. What am I? Restart. Okay. Should we try to kill our nega self again? Also, can we get the bread and then go see the old man? Let's find out. No, we cannot. 
we have to it seems like Yeah. Oh, I hit enter first. Restart. Restart. Okay. He's not here yet. all we did during our last save was check his existence get bread return to gift bread I'm pretty sure what's your deal old man Figure. Figure. I'm hurt very badly. Strength appears to be fading. Should I keep trying or run away? Oh. Alright, alright, alright. Will you remove the hood? Alright, get cloak. Wear hood also? Okay. Save. Negapo. What? Okay. We didn't miss. No, I don't think we missed the sailor. Okay, we have three points. And he's still not here. I need him to be here. Okay, so then I guess we can't continue working on this right this moment. This horizontal elevator.
Feels really wrong to have Mario music playing with Zork. <laughs> Yeah, the west took us to the land of the shadow. <sighs> 87 this time for the earthquake, but there were more points. I don't know if that matters or not, but I'm writing it down. Uh... I lost all my stuff, but I can float on the surface of the lake? What? Oh, the water is ice cold and your ability to survive here for long is very questionable. A swim north puts you at your starting point. Conditions to the east are poor where the lake turns into swamp. The west and south shores are suitable for walking, however. Okay, so let's go east is a swamp. Places. On the south shore of the lake, rock formations prevent movement to the west, and thickening swamp to the east makes the going all but impossible. To the south, where the beach meets a rock formation, you can make out a dark passage sloping steeply upward into the rock. So can I go up? Down. Oh, we dropped all of our things. Well, shit. can get back in the lake. We're gonna have to come back with our lantern somehow to go up. Western shore. You're on the western shore of the lake. The ground here is quite hard, but a few sickly reeds manage to grow near the water's edge. Those? The only path leads into the rock to the south. Nope. I am not going to be able to see where I'm going, though, am I? Oh, just kidding. A scenic vista. You're in a small chamber carved in the rock with the sole exit to the north. Mounted on one wall is a table labeled Scenic Vista, whose featureless surface is angled toward you. One might believe that the table was used to indicate points of interest in the view from this spot, like those found in many parks. Got it. On the other hand, your surroundings are far from spacious, and by no stretch of the imagination could this spot be considered scenic. An indicator above the table reads two. Mounted on one wall is a flaming torch, which fills the room with a flickering light. Oh my gosh. Yes. Oh, the indicator above the table flickers briefly, then changes to three.
What if I re replace it? Uh, I don't know. Uh, drop torch. Take torch. Okay, now it reads four. Why is it increasing? One. Oh, so one through four. And I go. I don't think I could go anywhere else. Oh, two is what it said before, so let's wait. Three. Oh no, so I dropped my torch. <laughs> Shit, of course. I don't know why I'm like double typing. Does it only change if I'm examining it? Like if I'm observing the indicator? Is that the only way it exists? One. So no. Because that means it cycled all the way through. Having to reply to a message quickly. It's the Schrodinger indicator. And the cat, or. <laughs> In the closed fridge. <gasps> the surface is pale and featureless, but slowly an image takes shape. You see a passage cluttered with broken timbers. An extremely narrow opening can be seen at the end of the room. The image slowly fades. Interesting. At the end of the room. Is the end of the room south? The surface is pale and features, but slowly an image takes shape. You see a tiny room with rough wall. Oh, are we looking at a narrow passage? Chiseled crudely on one wall is the number eight. Are we looking at Zork 2? <laughs> there was a room with an eight on it. Ugh. Oh no, MJ says he's sinking further and further into the sickness. No. see a word because I think it's going to be today
<laughs> Muke. No. <laughs> Will you spell it mucus? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh man, I am sick. <laughs> I'm not sick. I'm well is why I'm sick. Okay, so, okay, notes or notes. One was a narrow passage. Two was an eight room. Change to three, examine table. Surface is, uh, you see a wide room with two nearly identical passages leading east and northeast. East. Use the next sponsorship money. Oh yeah. I love being associated with snot. <laughs> okay, east and northeast, identical passages. Wide channel descends steeply into the room and seems to be blocked <gasps> by rubble. That is the um that's the damp passage. The image slowly fades. What is the point of this? The surface is you see the interior of a huge temple rudely rudely constructed of basalt blocks. Hi Belcher. As in not finally. Is there a difference between rudely and crudely? Flickering torches cast a, sh a sallow. I know sallow is a thing. Sallow. His skin was sallow and pitted, of a person's face or complexion of an unhealthy yellow or pale brown color. A sallow illumination over an altar so wet with the blood of a human sacrifice. Its velvet covered st covers stained and encrusted with gore. The image slowly fades. Well, that's good. Four. Uh, temple sacrifice? Uh. Rudely would be ramshackle and poorly made. Rudely would look like a penis. I'm gonna look it up. Not that. I'm gonna look up rudely. An inoffensive, startling, and abrupt way. Offensive or bad mannered way. Maybe it means abrupt. Abruptly constructed of basalt. Maybe it's rude because the sacrifice might not have been the nicest thing to do. Boy, they loved that word in 1850. That's all anybody said. run into the store to get some OJ some orange juice because we're out the 
that's what the typing is about. Um, okay, so that's cool. So touch table. Yeah, that's the one that I picked to go to. Sacrificial altar. This is the interior of a huge temple of primitive construction. A few flickering torches cast a sallow yes, which is... is uh, behind the altar is an enormous statue of a demon which seems to reach towards you with dripping fangs and razor-sharp talons. A low noise begins behind you, and you turn to see hundreds of hunched and hairy shapes. A guttural chant issues from their throats. Near you stands a figure draped in a robe of deepest black, brandishing a huge sword. The chant grows louder as the robed figure approaches the altar. The large figure spots you and approaches menacingly. He reaches into his cloak and pulls out a great and glowing dagger. He pulls you onto the altar, and with a murmur of approval from the throng, he slices you neatly across your abdomen. You have eventually died. Ugh. All right, well, that was a poor choice. What was our last save? Indicator, that's perfect. Okay, I don't, I don't wanna mess with the table right now. Okay. Let us, so I know for sure where three is. I'm assuming narrow passage is gonna be have one of those, don't we? <laughs> Do I have the torch? I have the torch, right? Okay. Touch table. Wait. I mean, what did I think was going to happen with the eight room, but I have a, wait, wait. I can't be here. I'm sorry, game. This is the wrong game in my game. Um. Okay, we got sucked back out. Okay, drop timber, touch panel, touch to save. Touch table. That's trippy. Can we leave? I feel like that's probably a bad idea. Seems to be a blur. Yeah, okay, we're back in the room. Okay. But then three is here. I think. Is it gonna take us back to the viewing room though? Drop, drop, uh, uh, repellent and timber. Oh, I panic. No, yeah. Okay. Okay, 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 weird. Okay, all right. Very interesting, but also weird. We have a score of five now. Why did I deliver timbers and grew repellent? 
to myself on the other side of the lake. I don't want to mess with the sacrificial room right now. We'll leave that, probably leave that one be. We're gonna lose our torch. Uh, drop torch north. How am I supposed to progress into the south, though, I wonder? Unless we can get a boat or something? Or use the timber to cross? Broken timber. Oh god, what did we even use that for? That one took was so hard for me to visualize. Your boss discovered speedrunning recently and says it gives him depression from watching games. <laughs> he struggled bust on as a kid, get wrapped up in under 30 minutes. Oh, <laughs> I get that. I get that. I hope he s sees the enjoyment in it someday. And watching or doing or doing. Okay. Only 117. But I feel like I'm losing steam. So I think we're gonna. not rest restart tomorrow we're gonna cross let's go back north enter lake oh but we're dead anyways because i lost my stuff it does have quite a lot of games yeah Score five, though. We're pretty heroic. What's that? Isn't there a word to check our... Such a, such a, I'm such a, a, a silly Sally. I haven't been looking at manuals for like any of our games lately. I've gotten spoiled. Thinking I know what's up. But it's, it's not cool. I love manuals. I love appreciating. No, not score. Uh... And I might be thinking of a different game, but let's, you know what we're gonna do. Diagnose, that's what I was thinking of, yes, thank you. It all comes down to this. Okay, wait, but then diagnose. We're in perfect health. Manual cam. Too bad it's not a real physical one. If it's two in the morning, this must be Zork. Not even Ted Koppel could keep the nation up so late. This is the sixth Infocom game I have bought. Is there any other kind? No, from Garland, Texas. <laughs> uh, excellent. Thoroughly enjoy game action and interaction with computer. Much better than arcade shoot 'em ups. Remarkable adventure fantasies. Excellent. Makes me use my mind. Very challenging. Get it, Paul. It finally attracted my kids to my business computer with their brain testing challenge and beautifully written descriptions. It's no wonder that Zorks 1, 2, and 3 become classics in their time. Excellent. Many surprises. The game says, if the game says so, that's true. I do, I want to go back and read all of these. I'm sorry, 778? Thank you. 
Tweezers. Boy, the Frobaz industry has really expanded. Grew cream, oil, and anti grew kit. We have some grew repellent. Sales, profit, number of subsidiaries, number of employees, name recognition, granola subsidiaries. <laughs> wow, they're doing they're doing pretty well. At least at, at this time, they were. Original headquarters in 667. You name it, we do it. And then it's probably gonna be... <laughs> Pretty much the same stuff. Is there a page for the Vrobaz company company? Let's see, I'll go back in a second. If you have any doubts about your courage and wisdom, turn back now. Go play Zelda. Oh, that's cool. You could get stock. This is cute. Ah, <laughs> uh, sorry. <laughs> I'm not fast enough on the mute. <laughs> I tried to scroll the manual. Uh Choco Choco Bo. That's funny. That's funny stuff, Zork. I appreciate it. Wow. I think we made a lot of progress today.